Oh, yeah, boss. I mean, I knew it was going to ruffle some feathers, you know what I mean? But we just talking about the feather dragon. I knew it was going to ruffle some feathers when we told people to choose their Joshua because they can't let go of their Yahweh shot, right? Because that story given to them, given to them, that is a reflection of things happening already in the indigenous world. And they can't let it go. So what can we do, man? All we can do is keep the water flowing. Anatoly Fedomenko also showed that in many chronicles, the year 1054 AD, the so-called fundamental shift of 1053 years in chronology is implied as year one in accordance with Christ's birth. So when I say choose your Joshua, man, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't poking no fun at nobody. I ain't trying to hurt your feelings. But yeah, it's the fourth quarter. And uh, if anything, it's ignorant. See, I don't call people stupid. You know what I mean? I just say that if there's an ignorance, then maybe it's a lack of of uh, overstanding. My naga, that there's a shift going on. Uh, there's a shift going on. There's a shift of at least a thousand years. So by the time you put your thousand years back in chronology, then you have two Joshua's merging, happening at the same damn time. This means that the medieval chroniclers often dated the birth of Christ precisely to 1054 or 1053. Choose your Joshua. Because you can't have Jesus and Joshua rocking at the same damn time, man. Come on. 1054, right? But what about this Joshua? Israel the third went south to the Totec lands of Mexico and his grandson Makir, Americ, America. We're talking you, Manag. Or Mixcoalto of the Toltecs was the grandfather of Tapuzin. And this is who we're talking about, the priest of Kitsakoalto. Or Joshua who left Cholula for Rhoda in about 1000 A.D. Check out the timeline, man. So we bring in Kitsukoto from here. I mean, let's back it up a little bit. Uh, let's back it up a little bit. Because, again, we're just talking the Toltec, right? So you're talking the Amarokan history. I ain't calling nobody stupid. I'm just saying maybe we're ignorant to what's happening in America in 775. When this Nehemiah is coming to reconquer, this is a family war, an Israelite war in America, man. And compare it with the Preston John Genghis Khan invasion and these phantoms and duplications. The American empire of Kalelus. Kalelus was ruled by Sylvanus Tall Texas. Who's Sylvanus? It's Solomon the Builder. The hereditary ruler of the former Jewish ruled Roman colony or the Hebrew Romani. Reman means pomegranate in Hebrew. Reman is where they get Roman. So these Roman, Romani Hebrews representing the pomegranate, which represents the promised land, are already here building. Already here. Kalelus was founded in the first century BC. Now, let's just take it down here. The legends of Ogier the Dane, son of Godfrey, and Dune family, the legends of Ogier de Mayence actually refer to Tawatha de Dani. We're talking the tribe of Dan, Dunan, who are also known as the Mananan or Maine of America. This is out of the forbidden histories of America. The Irish legend of Regamon also alludes to this family, but they're leaving something out in the book, and we had to get that in a separate doc that had the original of what they really meant to say. We had to get it, you know, all the way back from this Michael Rourke dot blog. The legend of Ogier the Dane, right? Son of Godfrey, doing it. Dunde Mayence, Tawatha Danin Dunan, also known as Man and Nan, Maine of America, right? But what did they leave out over there? Where the giant ogre, heads of the Almec, are found. So now we have a face to put on this. Now we go into the she. Now we go into the Tangu. Now we can dig in, you know, the she connection with the Kara Katai, the tribes. 
led by Wong Kong, David. Now we can connect to David before you get a new superhero. Know that we're just talking all mech when we talk the tall tech, my nog. <laughs> and we put it together in Forbidden Histories about the Toltec, what? The Toltec lands. We're talking Kitsukoto. He rejoined the remnant of the Rodons. Remember the high Amazon queens of the Rodas? Put these together with the queens. Who he led east and then back to Europe. And some of the Latin Jewish Rodents settled in northwest Spain. So now you can put it together with the more and more war in Spain. Because they were fighting for freedom. Welcome in the fight to preserve the freedom of northwest Spain from the Muslims, man. More on more war. That's when you talk Lancelot or Lancelin or Kalelus. That's when you're talking Camelot or King Arthur is King David of Kalelus. Lancelot is what? Lancelin. And we're just surfing the wave, man. <laughs> hey. I guess we did it. I guess we did it until the battery went out, man. I guess we did it until now, you know, we got to just turn the lights off, man, on this Yahweh shot business. We did it till the wheels fell off, man. I'm proud of y'all, my noggers. And this ain't to ruffle no feathers or hurt no feelings. It's to get you researching. At least you researching. Whatever conclusion you come to when you choose your Joshua, when you realize all this is happening at the same damn time, then you're going to have to choose which storyline you're picking up with. The one that crosses right, the, the real cross, the cross sticks into our indigenous history, into our indigenous Papu Vu flow, into the Kitzel. But the Kitzel ain't that JC over there. That's a reflection that's happening at the same damn time according to their timeline. But what anointed is being born in 1053? And what's this got to do with the same Joshua Kitsukoto rainbow dragon, right? The star of Bethlehem, right? The star without a tail or the star with a tail. We're talking dragons in the air as these Mashiachs are born. So we know that the books are being unsealed. But rule number one is you don't put no power beside or before or next to or near your Hawa. And there's never an excuse for it. And now you hear them coming out and they're clearly saying what they clearly been doing the whole time. You can't go to the creator unless you go through the sun. And you're saying the same thing they said with Jupiter. You can't go to the creator. You can't get to Zeus. Right. You can't get to you can't get to Saturn unless you go through Jupiter. Right. The sun has always been worshipped. And your continued worship of the sun, no matter what, you know what I'm saying, uh, manifestation of it you create. You are now syncretinizing all of these stories into making your own image. You're reappropriating this image, calling it Yahweh Shah. That sounds cool. Calling it Yeshua. Well, it sounds better than Jesus. Because you know who you're calling on when you're calling that Jesus. That's why you get out of that. But then you keep the story. Nah, man. Separation.